Hello, how y'all doing today? This is Kate. Happy Friday morning. Yep. Wait a minute, where is it still morning? Wait a minute. Yo, Lord, y'all know I got too much going on. Oh, there go the phone right there. We about to get into the daily bread. I'm going to clean this phone off a little bit. Yeah, Miss Kate just got dressed. Yeah, I had to eat a little something, make sure my protein level's up. And I had to get me a, uh, let me get another bottle of water. Hang on, y'all. I'll be right back. Put none in the refrigerator so the water gonna be hot. Man. Alright, we're gonna get right into this daily bread. Oh y'all know that's still some music. No, I know. Alright. Yeah, y'all, I should have been gone, but y'all know how it is. Oh, that's my neighbors. Bring it in. Bringing their trash cans around. Y'all, my glasses. I, I found my my other glasses. And I'm going to see if I can't take them somewhere while I'm out to get them fixed. I got my mask looking a little bit better, I think. See? Uh-huh. I'm be looking like a gangster. <laughs> I'm be looking like a gangster today, y'all. Okay, come on. We're going to get into the daily bread. Can y'all see? Okay. I know I ain't ready, but oh well. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get out. The and guess what my job called me? Miss Felicia. She called me, want me to come in and work from four to nine. I told her, so I'm a, as soon as I get through donating, I'm going to call and see if she ain't got nobody. See if she got somebody else. So I don't know. Only thing about it, the bus is running different. The buses are still free and they still running. But Monday through Friday, instead of them running on a regular schedule, like every 15, 20, 30 minutes, uh-uh. They running on a Saturday schedule. And I think one come once or twice an hour. And then if I get off at 9, that's not good for me to be out there by myself like that. So if I get a ride, I'm going to go. But if I can't get no ride home, I ain't going to do it. But, I, you know, everybody need them hours, but... Okay, I got to think of my safety. Some people still not following that stay-at-home stuff. And then you got people out here robbing and doing everything else at night. Because it's been on the news. That's how I know. Okay, so we this is coming out of Ephesians 1 and 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Again, that's Ephesians 1 and 17. Reflection. This should be one of our main prayers for ourselves and for our fellow believers. That they will exercise the wisdom given to them by the Holy Spirit and that they will grow in the knowledge of God and who he is. Okay, prayer. Dear God, I pray for myself and I pray for my fellow believers, that we will continuously grow in the knowledge of you, who you are, Lord, and that we will receive wisdom from the Holy Spirit and apply it to our lives accordingly. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Godly friends. I'm going to do the quiz and I'm going back to that. Y'all, I read it. I, God said I got to share it. I got to share it. And I also got to tell you about this. <laughs> Jesus ain't playing, y'all. Come on. We're going to go to the quiz. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Ephesians. The bell is back today. <laughs> I came with this phone. Child, I got a mind this song, Jesus. Okay, now. Y'all bear with me. Now, I want y'all to relax. And Lord, please let me let it come out right. Get you a cup of coffee, a bottle of water. Turn your TVs off, and I want you to listen closely. This got me, and it made me feel some type of way. And I have friends that subscribe to me that I consider as friends. But when I read this, y'all, I got friends. But I also, the ones that I think my friends aren't. And I apologize if I hurt anybody's feelings. I am so sorry. But this is what the word says. 
Jonathan and David had a friendship that was bonded in love. They didn't just see each other as friends. They treated each other as if they were brothers. They were so close to each other. The Bible records that they knit with soul, which means that they were in one accord. They lo- uh, uh, something on him. I hate that. Go away. Uh. Okay, they loved each other like brothers. It's something keep popping up on here. Their friendship continued until Jonathan's tragic death. David was moved by Jonathan's death, but he pleaded to take, but he pledged to take care of everyone who was part of Jonathan's family. Then David discovered that Jonathan had a son who was born with a disability. He took him in and treated him like royalty. He he remained loyal to the promise that he made. This is one of the examples of the way godly friendship should be. Friendship should be rooted in love. It helps to have godly friends because when the two walk in one accord, you'll be doing so with Jesus at the center of your friendship. Okay, it is sad to see that friendship have a a completely different meaning nowadays. People tend to become friends for all the wrong reasons. Some use friendship as a way of getting things that they couldn't get on their own. There are a number of friendships where loyalty is non-existent. This is not the plan God had when it came to companionship. Our friendship should reflect the love of God in them. When people take a look at you and your friends, they should see the bond of unity, not a heap of distrust. It will be hard for you to minister effectively if people notice that all your friendships are found founded in dishonesty. Follow the example of Jonathan and David and love each other as if you were family. If you know that there are friendships in your life that do not glorify God because they are based on the wrong things. You need to walk away. It will help you and it will help the other person too. Godly friendship should be about loving each other, looking out for each other, and striving to bring out the best in each other the same way Christ loves you. Look out for you and strives to bring out the best in you. Drop the phone. In the name of Jesus, let that marinate. Oh, I forgot I can't drop this phone. It's cutting off. (laughs) Let that marinate. In the name of Jesus. So, I was at work yesterday. It's amazing. And y'all know I ain't been to work probably in three days. And I was at work yesterday. It was some ladies came through there with this pretty little white dog. Had a little white bow right there. And I was just talking to the ladies while they was fixing the food in the background. And giving them their drinks and getting them money. And, you know, transaction back and forth. I was in drive through yesterday and I enjoyed it. I really had a ball. I got to see people I hadn't seen in a while. You know, my regular customers. I hadn't seen Big Wayne. I hadn't seen Big Worm. These construction workers that come through there. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all. We just was talking and having fun at the drive through And this lady pulled up with this. After we talked, she said, you know what? She said, I got something for you. And so she went in her little purse and she pulled this little bag out. And then it has on here the cross in my pocket. And it's like a story on here for like you to put it in your pocket or either you can wear it on your neck. She said, it ain't nothing to symbolize Jesus or nothing. It's just a reminder of of you. Let me see how it say. It's a reminder of how much God loves you. Then it tells you how to do the prayer. And then it give you a list of stuff. Look at that. How to become a Christian. So she gave me one. Then she said, no, here's another one for the other young lady behind you, which was, her name is Kadisha too. But it's, we spell our names different. So I gave her one. And it was a gold one and a silver one. So I told her, I said, you pick whichever one you want. So she picked the silver one. So I kept the gold one. And then the lady saw that. And then she gave me a silver one. And I just got to tell this story. So she gave me another silver one. So I'm still in the drive-thru work, and I got both of them in my back pocket. I'm all proud, you know, just boasting about my little things. I got all little stuff like this, and I got all kind of little trinkets where people done gave me stuff that pertains to Jesus that I always keep. And then it reminded me of my prayer cloth I got over there. I wrote all my friends' name on it, and I used to pray over it a lot. And I had it over about 12 years. And it's a prayer cloth over there on my table. I'll show it to you one day. And so then... Somebody else came to the drive-thru. I'm not going to say this person's name. Uh, No, I'm not going to say this person's name. And they said, 
Miss Khadija Reeves. And I look, and I look, and I almost didn't recognize him. Oh, he looks so good. He looks so good. Um, he's a, he's a husband to a girlfriend of mine. And uh, I'm crazy about her, too. And he was going through some things that I went through. And he went and got the help he needed. He was in, oh, I was in rehabilitation, let me tell you that, for years ago when I was on drugs. I was doing cocaine. And um, he came through the window, and he looked so good. And I said, I, I said, you know what, we talked, and I told him, I said, I'm so proud of you. God bless you. I said, keep God first, baby. I said, you look good. And he was with his, I guess, you know, I found another family member. And they was he was just a talking to me, and we was in the drive through holding up the drive through And, I mean, it just was a blessing to see that somebody, you know, Really watch your videos. Really, really, you you help them. So I gave him one of these, and he teared up. I couldn't take it. I said, okay, get out of my drive-thru, because I got to get these customers. They're going to get me in trouble. I said, I love you, and I said, keep God first and back. So, okay, God, I don't went to 11 minutes. I hope it down low. So y'all have a blessing on them today. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Just know that you are amazing, and whatever little thing that you can contribute, I don't care if you get one person, honey, you get them. You understand me? All right, now I got to get off here so this can download. Y'all have a blessed one for day, and Kay will get back y'all with y'all tomorrow with a daily period. Bye now.